Hi, I'm Adrian and I'm a retired hobbyist. The only reason I use tools is for fun. So, because I'm retired, living on the pension, I really can't afford those premium tools that you see on YouTube a lot with professional guys who are cutting and turning and welding. You'll see over here, I've already got a Viva bandsaw, but I don't have the, the base that I can do nice straight cuts with. And Viva have kindly given me this one to try out. I'm not getting paid other than with the saw itself. But I guess that's enough to be biased, so you'll have to just make up your mind whether this saw is any good for you or not. I bought my bandsaw about a, a year and a half ago, and I've been using it a lot. And I've made up this little stand so that I don't have to hold it, hand hold it all the time. But I'd really like to have one of those bases where you can cut nice straight, ang straight angles and straight 90 degrees. So let's see what this one does. Okay, first thing I can see is that it comes with two blades. That's a bonus. Okay, got a few uh, Allen keys. Alrighty, so first thing to do, obviously, is put the blade on. Right, let's tighten it up till it's sort of firm. Now, I'm only going to put the top guard on. I found with my other band saw, if you put this bottom guard on, all the, the uh, metal cuttings get stuck down the bottom. Up the top here, there's an on-off switch that turns a light on and off. As you can see, there's the light there, quite handy. And on the left hand side, there's a speed switch. Now, I found from using my other saw that somewhere between two and a half and three seemed to be a good speed for cutting mild steel. Anyway, we'll see how this one goes. Oh, that's got a nice quick release clamping your material, that's good, so when you're around the material then you can tighten it up, that's all good. Down here on the right hand side is where you can set the angle of the saw up to, looks like 45 degrees, well sorry that's a bit dark, anyway it'll only go up to 45 degrees which is fine for most applications. Setting it back to zero, it's got a little arrow mark there. So our first cut will be a 90 degree cut and we'll see how accurate that is. I found that this was a, a little bit easy, too easy to tighten up and down. So I just want a little bit of pressure so that when I release it, it stays in position. This is still not too tight. Yeah, that feels good. All right, for my first cut, I'm just going to cut this really thin stuff, thin walled steel, mild steel.
I don't know whether you could hear it or not, but I, I had the um, speed at three and it just sounded like it was too fast and I slowed it down a bit and it sounded a lot better when I cut it slower. Let's see how square it is. Yeah, because it's so thin, it didn't cut very smoothly on those downward cuts. But the, the long cuts, nice and smooth. Anyway, can you see that? That is nice and square. So this thing down the back here must be pretty accurate. Okay, I've got a bit of six mil flat bar, mild steel again. We'll see how this goes. This time I'll leave it flat. Okay, so there's, there's an issue. Because it's so short, I can't really clamp it where I want to cut it. And there doesn't seem to be any other position that you could put it in. Alright, let me get a longer bit. Oh yeah, longer bit. Got a bit weird angle on the end. Still 6mm mile steel. This time I'll be able to clamp it easily. Let's go about there. I'd like to be able to cut this nice and square as well, but again, it's too short. What I'd like to see is this thing here, whether we could, you know, some mechanism that locks it so that when you tighten it up, just zoom in a bit. So when you tighten it up, this doesn't go on an angle. I might be able to design something and mill it up on my little lathe or mill, but straight out of the box, it's a no-go. If you've got any suggestions how I can cut short stuff, please let me know. Something I can't do on my other bandsaw uh, that doesn't have this base is cut nice 45 degree angles or anything from 0 to 45, for example. So I'm going to see if I can cut a 45 degree angle. It's as dark as the inside of a sheep round here. I think that's, that's pretty well got it. Now, you would have heard this, the blade going wong, wong, wong like that. That's where they have welded the seam on the blade to uh, make the blade continuous. And I found with my other saw, even with the Milwaukee blades, it does the same thing. So it doesn't seem to be just a, you know, blade out of the box issue. Anyway, let's see whether this is 45 or not. Let's go sideways and 
Yep, that's pretty good sideways. But, and you won't be able to see this, it's just a little tiny bit sharp. Tiny poof dent sharp. So if I was going to do multiple of these, I just undo this, blunt it up a little bit, and give it another test. These blades aren't really suited to aluminium, but I'm interested to see how it goes anyway. Let's just cut a little bit off this. I don't think you need to see any more than that. You can see how slow it is. It clogs up the blade. I used a little, used a little bit of soap on the, on the outside part of the blade because I don't want to get it on the inside on the drum. And it cuts really quite slowly. Um, I can cut the aluminium a lot quicker just on my ordinary wood cutting hobby bandsaw. Anyway, let's go to some serious stuff bit of round bar steel. And I won't make you sit through going this in real time. Look at how smoothly that cut. That is a really nice cut. Radio, we're up to four minutes after my faffing around, so I guess it's about three and a half minutes. Um, yeah, okay, so it's a reasonable amount of time, but <laughs> that's a lot better than doing it with a hacksaw, and I've still got a straight cut, I think. Let's check that. That is a perfectly straight cut. Okay, that's given it a pretty good test. So what are my conclusions? Well, I was already biased to start with because I've had the other Viva handheld power saw for a year and a half and I've been using that a lot and it hasn't let me down. So I wasn't expecting this to be any worse, but Having the base is a real bonus. Being able to get nice straight cuts, which you just can't get handheld, is is uh, something that I've really been wanting. Also, 45 or um, between zero and 45 cuts that are nice and square as well. That's been a real that'd be going to be a real bonus using this. Now I mentioned the inability to cut short pieces on this. One thing I can do is I can take this off the base just by removing these three screws and put it on my little bench that I've made. If you want to have a look at how I made that, just look back at my channel and you'll be able to see one of the videos of, uh, of how to make it. It's very, very simple. Anyway. little custom base I built. So extended a little bit and it's got a couple of holes in it for this plate to go in. Okay with that done you can just put the base on a couple of thumb screws. And just use a strap to 
Hit the power on the switch. Okay, so now we're ready to be able to cut a short piece of material. Okay, I won't be able to cut it super accurate. Oh yeah, so that's pretty versatile with the stand and this stand I can pretty much do any cut that I desire. So you're probably saying is my modification going to be compatible? Well let's find out. First thing I found out is this sort of self centers so this is easy to put back in. So that only takes a, a minute, so that's good. And that different little base is completely compatible. And the fact that the handle's in a slightly different place doesn't matter whatsoever. Of course, we wouldn't be using that. So, it's all good. There's so many influences on uh, YouTube, it's really hard to decide whether what you're seeing is true or not. So go and have a look at the rest of my channel and see all the other stuff I've been doing. You'll see that I'm just an ordinary backyard tinkerer. So if you're that sort of bloke, I reckon you can't go wrong with a Viva um, bandsaw for cutting metal. Voice over me here. I forgot to mention that in the description there's a link to this product and also a code for a 5% discount. It's so much easier than using a hacksaw and uh, even an angle grinder which you know to, to, to cut that with an angle grinder you'd never get it straight for a start and it would take at least that long just for the angle grinder with a, a cutoff wheel on it. So I'm really happy with this and I'll be keeping it strangely. Anyway, catch you later.